Uh, hello. I I've taught you how to set up your Microsoft Outlook and um, how to add account. If you look at the, my screen here, I have two accounts already added. I have an account college, that's my college email account, and I have for Yahoo. The college, you will discover that you can quickly identify because of the name. I have changed the name to college. For Yahoo, I can also do the same. And um, how do I do that? These are necessary so that um, you will have an organized, actually, uh, box and you can quickly identify uh, what and uh, which accounts. So you can right click on this. There are various ways of doing it, but let me just show you um, this way. And you click on the account properties. You click on account property, it brings you here. You are used to this place. Um, then the account set it. But this time around, account name and sync set it. So let's click on it. Now you have your name. If I send a mail out through this account now, it goes with sojadsatyahoo.com. But I want it to go with my name the way my name is. So I'm going to replace this my email under your name with my name. I'm typing my first name in small cap, then I want to put my surname in uh, caps. Yeah, it depends on what you want to do. So you are not necessary to follow this, but just put the name or what the, kind, the name you want to show when you send mail to people. Then account name, that's where you see there the other time. I want to change it to Yahoo, just like I changed the other one to college. So now I'm changing it to Yahoo and I want you to see what happens. So then you can move to next, then done. Yeah, let's go back. I just click on the back button here to go back to my inbox. Now, I want to refresh this thing that I've opened so that this thing can take effect. So let me refresh it. Okay, refresh is not um, taking care of it. Then I'll quickly close it and reopen it and see. Yeah, I close my Outlook. I mean, uh, Microsoft Outlook and reopen. You can see now I have Yahoo. If I want to see other folders, just like I have down here, I just need to kill. The, I mean, to click on the arrow beside Yahoo down. Then I will see my boxes. I have many folders here, and that is the reason why I want it to be compacted so that I can quickly identify. But whenever I want to use it, I can drop it down and see my inbox. So good. Now, other things I want to add to this short video before I go to some other things. I discovered that so many, some people are having problem adding their Yahoo accounts to their hard box. Why? Don't forget that I've mentioned it to you that this kind of security you set in on these servers will determine the way the server will respond to your request when you are. Uh, 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 asking um, uh, uh, clients, for example, Microsoft Outlook, a mail client, to assess such server. So some of you, you have set, you know, two-step security, but there's this particular one that I think you need to know, and I'm going to do that. I already have my Yahoo, but I will show you uh, how I'm able to do it. The normal way of adding your account still stands so you follow the step but when you get to the password you may not like your password for logging into yahoo on daily basis may not work because the security at the on the server may be requesting you know for a, a password or you yourself saying that the server should allow uh, microsoft outlook you know accessing your mail on your behalf so you go to your yahoo web mail so now um i have opened my yahoo just you can do this, so I don't need to show you how I log into my Yahoo. But this time around, I want Outlook to come in and pick my mail. So I will need a password, permission, you know, to seek permission from 
webmail from my Yahoo webmail, my profile to allow Outlook. So you just click on your profile, look for where your name is, then you see my name is there. So I click on account info. You can see it, account info. Then it wants me to log in. So I'm going to log in. Uh, and when I click on login, definitely it's going to ask me, send an information to my phone to confirm that it is me. So now, here yeah, I've allowed my account info, access to my account info from my phone. So I drop my phone. So the next thing is you come to security. You can see the security here. When I enter my info, click on security. Then just scroll down. You will see something. Now, app password, app password. Yeah, Microsoft Outlook uh, is a client, is an app. So you need to create or generate a password here that you will use for the configuration. So I have done that thrice, maybe over the years, maybe in the last six years. So I have three passwords here. You may not see anything there. So now generate. You click on generate and manage app password. Can you see? Then you enter the app. It may not necessarily be Microsoft Outlook, but in this case, I am teaching you how to use for Microsoft Outlook. This can also be uh, be with another you know apps so i click on microsoft outlook and i generate password then i will have to copy this password this is the password that i will use at the other end when i'm setting up or adding my yahoo to the microsoft uh, i mean to microsoft outlook cl uh, client so i copy and i use this password there so for some of you that are having problem of not being able to get your Yahoo mail, you know, uh, added to the Microsoft Outlook, I believe this video uh, will help you. So thank you.